Good morning students. Welcome to another session of Advanced Radiating System. I am your instructor Dr. Usha Kiran K. Assistant Professor Senior Sense. In today's class we will be learning about Unit 4 Dark Chabishef Array. So Dark Chabishef Array is a, another Chabishef Array so here Dahl proposed this method to design an array with desired side lobe levels or any half power beam width. This method is based on the approximation of pattern of array by chubby shape polynomial of order m. So the excitation coefficients are related to T S Chebyshev polynomial. So here you can see that when we apply these Chebyshev polynomials to the nonlinear arrays, we can talk about array factor of a even number of antennas who are nonlinear. So, an array factor for even number of elements can be written as m is equal to 1 to m a m which is the amplitude of the array cos 2 m minus 1 u where u is nothing but k d cos phi so this was our u so if I expand this I can write it as a1 cos u plus a2 cos 3u plus a3 cos 5u that is I can substitute the value of m for each term and take out these coefficients of u that is 3 and 5 in the array factor equation. Now likewise on other hand we have cosine power series which are similar to this form. So the coefficients m when m is equal to 0 cos m u will be 1 and when coefficient m is equal to 1 cos m u will be cos u and when m is equal to 2 this will be like a generalized equation of cos 2 theta which is nothing but cos square theta minus 1. Now likewise we can go up to n. So if you take z is equal to cos u, we can write a T.S. Chebyshev polynomial with m is equal for m is equal to 0 coefficient cos m u can be written in terms of T.S. Chebyshev polynomial t0 z is equal to 1. Likewise, when m is equal to 1, I can write t1 z is equal to z and m is equal to 2, I can write t2 z is equal to 2 z square minus 1. Likewise, till m is equal to n minus 1. So, through recursion, I can write a generalized formula for Tm z. So that is nothing but 2z Tm minus 1 function of z Tm minus 1 and minus Tm minus 2 z. So this can be odd. Uh, 
explain by taking an example of m is equal to 2. Now let us take m is equal to 2. So my t2 can be written according to this formula as t2 z is equal to 2 z then I have something called 2 tm minus 1 z so if m is equal to 2 m minus 1 would be t1 so what is the function of t1 here it is z so I can write into z minus tm minus 2 so minus 2 would be 2 minus 2 would be 0 that is t0 is nothing but 1 so this expression is again similar to t2 that is 2 z square minus 1 it is t2 so I can even write the expression for Chebyshev polynomial TMZ in terms of cos directly as cos M cos inverse Z 1 for values for Z is less than or greater than 1. Min minus 1 and 1 and for values where z is less than minus 1 and is greater than 1 I can write the second equation cos h m cos h as bracket m cos inverse of z now let us consider an example of m is equal to 3 that means that I have 6 antenna elements so my factor would be m is equal to 1 2 3 which is a even element array factor a m cos 2 m minus 1 u so I can write this expression as a1 cos u a2 cos 3u a3 cos 5u as per this formula I can write an expression for each of the cos u coefficient of u for example, for cos u, it is m is equal to 1, that would be cos u. So, I have written a1 cos u as it is. Now, when you take a2 cos 3u, now cos 3u would be m is 3, so I need to write an expression expression of the form I can write cos 3u as 4 cos cube u 3 cos u so I write a2 minus 3 cos u 4 cos cube u likewise for a3 I will be writing an expression of m is equal to 5 so I have a3 5 cos u 20 cos cube u and 16 5 which is this expression 5 cos u ok now let us consider x is equal to cos u and the array factor this particular array factor would be written as d1 
x d2 x cube plus d3 x5 where d1 is equal to all the coefficients of cos u all the coefficients of cos u and d2 or from see let us call this expression 1 and from 1 from the equation 1 so from the equation 1 so d2 is the coefficient for all cos cube u. Here I have 4 cos cube u. So I have 4a and then the next cos cube is 20 cos cube u 3a. So I have taken this cos cube as x so the coefficient alone will be written here and for d3 is the coefficient of cos 5 5u so this is 3u so cos 5u we have just 16 cos 5u I have taken this as 16 d3 would be 16 a3 u now let us proceed so this is all what we discussed in previous slide so I have to substitute an equivalent t polynomial that is Chebyshev polynomial of m is equal to 5. Now for m is equal to, since my array factor is 6, Chebyshev polynomial would be always 1 less than the array element. So we need to next choose the equivalent expression for the cosine terms in terms of Chebyshev and I repeat that the Chebyshev polynomial will be 1 less than the array elements. So my array elements are 6. So since they are 6 I have to take m is equal to 5. That is 16, 5, minus 23z and 5z. Now here initially I substituted as x is equal to cos u. I will take z is equal to z naught u. Z naught x which is nothing but z naught cos u. I will substitute in T5 5z minus 20z cube and plus 16z5. So this is the expression of Chebyshev polynomial. So now I will equate this particular D. This is again looking like my the array factor this polynomial is looking like my array factor which is d1 cos dx plus d2 x and then plus x cube plus D sixteen
d3 x5 d3 x5 so i will be equating the terms i get d3 is equal to for example if i take dx plus 5 16 d3 16a and then i can equate 20 d2 24a and 20 minus 3a so the amplitudes from these equation i derive a3 a2 and a1 to be this particular functions so this is so these are the values for any Chebyshev polynomial the magnitude of z will remain between minus 1 and 1. So this is the graph in which you can see that side lobe levels are very very less than 20 dB. So this is by feeding them in terms of Chebyshev polynomial we can achieve the side lobe levels very very low. Thank you.